Hi guys, welcome to Tech Base. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider pre-build for the dev channel, which is the build 26120.2130 for version 24H2 on the dev channel. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider pre-build for the dev channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, change to the start menu in the latest dev channel build the all app section is now called just all so you can notice it here this is a small change that microsoft has done to the start menu but i think it's a good one microsoft is also beginning to roll out a new gamepad keyboard layout for the on-screen keyboard in windows 11 that supports the ability to use your xbox controller to navigate and type this includes button accelerators for example x button for backspace y button for spacebar additionally the keyboard keys have been vertically aligned for better controller navigation patterns. Related to the narrator, Microsoft added a new shortcut narrator key plus control plus X to copy what narrator last spoke to clipboard. It follows the pattern of using narrator key plus X which repeats the last spoken phrase out loud and is a good way to memorize similar shortcuts. You can use these shortcuts to review and copy what narrator spoke. Useful in cases you want to quickly copy some content or descriptions or codes numbers for use. Also narrator will now also read contents of a mail in the new Outlook app similar to behavior in the Outlook classic. Related to networking, if you use the net sh wlan show network command, you should be able to read SSIDs that are UTF-8 encoded. This means that Wi-Fi SSIDs with Unicode characters like emojis should be properly displayed in net slash output. We also have some fixes in this build. For example, Microsoft fixed an issue for a small number of insiders after the latest builds. We're unlocking your PC after waking up the PC from sleep. The login screen contents wouldn't load and you couldn't sign back in. Related to input, fix an underlying issue which could lead to clipboard history not displaying items you'd copied. Related to the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an issue where if you had multiple windows open for an app on your taskbar, pressing win plus multiple times wasn't cycling between windows, for example, win plus one. Related to the narrator, Microsoft have addressed a performance issue where narrator could slow down after 15 minutes of continuous use with a single application. Fix an issue where narrator would add an additional announcement, contain style, whenever its focus is on text that has styling attributes such as bullets, numbers, across applications such as Microsoft Edge, Teams and Outlook. Also, fix an issue where a few dialogues in Narrator were not adopting the 200% text scaling setting in Windows. Related to live captions, Microsoft fixed an issue causing live captions to crash for some people in the previous slide when you tried to use it. It also fixed an issue causing MyCut to not work properly when using a slideshow for your desktop background. We also have a new known issue. Microsoft is investigating reports that Explorer AXE is crashing for some insiders when hovering over certain open apps in the taskbar. So, basically, this is all there is to it to the latest dev channel build. Make sure to check out the article below for more information if you're interested but if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one as you manage from tech base until next time have a nice day